Okay, raising brine shrimp. This time we're actually going to do it. We have the best of intent. Well, we do it all the time, but when we did our first video, we had the best of intention. We're going to raise some brine shrimp, and then, of course, Aaron was being difficult, and you guys all know how that goes. And yeah, having a child that's just like his father. Yeah. I guess that was my mother's revenge. Okay, so what we're doing, we're filling up this uh, little tank here out of the uh, invert system. Because, well, I do water change anyhow. Got lots of water down in the sump. So we've separated out the brine shrimp. These were hatched starting yesterday. So uh, we separated them out. And we got our handy dandy brine shrimp strainer bag. Let's see if we can do this with one hand. Yes, we did it! See, we got hooks everywhere here. A happy hooker. Well, of course you'd want a happy hooker. <laughs> She's upset with you. <laughs> that means you didn't pay her. How do you make a hormone? Yeah, you don't pay her. How do you get a happy medium? You pay your psychic. <laughs> yeah, in my head I'm funny. Okay, so we got some freshly hatched brine shrimp. We're going to feed some to these guys here. And we're going to feed some to okay, these guys here. You see I got the timer set so the pump goes off. Okay. And we're going to feed some to these guys here. So then we got this much left, and they're going to go in here. They say you want about a, a low culture amount of about a thousand per liter. Now I didn't count them, and I really have no idea. But it looks about right. See, they got room for swimming and moving and so on and then so on. Okay, so we disconnect this. Oh yeah, we got to turn this off. See, when we put the brine shrimp in there for the red scooters, trees are growing quite well. Okay, so. Gonna drain the hose. That's the advantage of having all these hooks. You can do things with one hand. I'm really good at doing things with one hand. You guys have seen those videos where I clean the tank completely with one hand. Okay. So now we're gonna run over to the boys' fridge. Because it's downstairs, so we use it for keeping our fish tank stuff in it. There's his directional sign, which, that drives me nuts. That spot there needs a beer cap. Look down there. That's how it goes around the corner so nicely. But up here, every time I look at it, I keep thinking to myself, it needs a beer cap. Needs a beer cap. So we got the sea cam phytoplankton. So you see how that water is nice and clear. Clear like the driven snow. So we got an airline here. Put that in there. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it all about. And then we splash some in there. 
You don't have to put too much. Because they're babies. Um, they're just about to start growing a mouth and a bum. First 24 hours, their first instar. And then uh, they switch to second instar. And when they're second instar, they got a mouth and a bum. And then they can eat. So you see how there's a haze to the water. And if you look at the brine shrimp, Okay, you can see them swimming all about. Okay, so that's all you do for today. That is kind of cool. Now you don't want this to go stinky. If it goes stinky, nothing will live. There's Porky. Hey, Porky. That little Puerco. That little Stipe Puerco. That little Valentini Puerco. Yeah, I missed my three fish rooms. That was sweet. But there's the angler fish. He sits there. He knows exactly where I'm going to dump the fish. There's some feeders. We got a goldfish. See, if he comes forward a little bit, he always gets him in that corner, but then he seems to forget that that's the best way to do it. Uh, come on, come on. Swim to your death. Okay, don't leave nasty comments. Even anglerfish got to eat. And man, that's an ugly one. Yeah. I usually like to get them a lot smaller than this, but this is what they sent me. And so we've had him for a couple months now. You guys remember when he came. All right, so that's raising brine shrimp. This time we're going to do it. As you guys can tell, the boy ain't here for me to fight with. He's off on a date. Alright. <laughs>